Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today I'm going to be doing a video on Hearts of Iron 4 Man the Guns and we're going to take an in-depth look at fuel. So fuel is a new concept that has been added to Hearts of Iron 4 with the Man the Guns DLC. And as you can see here, uh, it shows some oil barrels here and a status bar. So when the status bar is green, that gives you a quick idea about how much oil you have in your total uh, fuel supply. So you're going to see a few numbers here. Current fuel, 653K. So I'm not sure if that's barrels. Daily gain, 1.1K. So you have an idea of how much you have and how much uh, your is coming in. And then it even breaks it down more than that. You have a base gain of 48. Still not quite sure what that is. And then you have a gain from refineries. It says 105 and then 18 from your raw resources that you're getting in here. And I am getting 10 from my territory that I own. And then I'm getting 16 in from imports. And right now I'm exporting eight because I'm on free trade. So that should equal um, 18 right there. So 1.0K. Okay. And um, so that, yeah, that is even. So because it would be 26, except I'm exporting eight. So makes sense. Uh, it further itemizes things like current consumption, army, air, and navy consumption. So basically, if you see uh, my armies right here, you see that they're moving across uh, with strategic redeployment. And the way that's indicated is by these uh, railroad tracks here on the side of the divisions. So when they strategic re strategically redeploy, they do not use uh, fuel. But if they were just deploying without the railroad tracks there, it would have a fuel consumption. And it would itemize it here under this window under Army. So the implications of this are, uh, for instance, I just took over Poland here. So I'm going to have to worry about even a small war that's only two weeks, how much fuel I use. Do I want to leave half my airplanes at home? Do I want to leave my Navy at home? Uh, how many Panzer divisions do I want to deploy? You know, all that is going to come into uh, to be very important factors. Oil, hands down, was the most important resource in World War II, and now it's the most important resource in Hearts of Iron IV. I really like the change because now I'm going to have to worry about, wow, I just invaded Poland. Half my fuel supply is gone. Could you only imagine how much fuel supply is going to be gone after I conquer uh, France and the low countries? Like it's going to be, I'm definitely going to run out of fuel, I can tell you. And there's no way I'm going to be able to run a Navy. So you really have to plan things out way ahead of time. Day one, when you start the game as Germany, you need to think about how many fuel supply silos you're going to need. So if just this little war used up all that fuel, my fuel capacity is 1.2 million. What if I'm starting Operation Barbarossa? So I can only imagine I'm going to need a full capacity of about 5 million. Whatever that is, if 5 million means oil barrels, then... We're talking about 5 million oil barrels. It doesn't really uh, say the units here. I don't see where the units are. Maybe someone can help me out in the comments below. But day one, you're, you're basically thinking about this arc of what, what do you want to accomplish and where do you want to be? If you're going to do the full World War II thing and you're going to be attacking Russia, you need this to be full on day one of Operation Barbarossa. And you're going to need... I would say at least 5 million fuel capacity, maybe 10, probably 10. And you're not going to want to, you know, still be um, dicking around, you know, fighting off the allies someplace because that's going to ruin your fuel capacity too. So I hope this helps uh, explain the new concept in Hearts of Iron 4, Man the Guns. And I would suggest purchasing Hearts of Iron 4, Man the Guns. It's available on Steam for $20. Uh, I'm really enjoying the game and all the changes that they've made. They've updated like Mexico's and the Netherlands focus tree. 
and I'm going to be coming out with a Germany and Netherlands build here soon. Thanks for joining me, guys. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content, and I'll see you on the next one.